big extras. In this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can use a combination of styles and symbols to create interesting shadow style symbol effects. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to quickly, first thing to do, I've got a circle here. I could, of course, use any path, but I'm just going to use that as a basic start point. I don't want to create anything too complicated. So now, go over to the effect, stylize and drop shadow. Click OK, and straight away you'll see a shadow there. Now, here's the appearance palette. If you can't see the appearance palette, appearance there. And you will see the drop shadow that's been applied to the fill there. OK, once I've done that, what I'm going to do now is actually going to just drag it over to the Symbols palette. Click OK. If you can't see that, Window, Symbols. Now that's the symbol, the entire shadow and the actual path, it's a complete symbol. Now I can actually apply a shadow to that as well. I actually apply, I actually created a few earlier ones here, so I'm just going to click those. These are shadow styles, just click that. And there you've got obviously a slightly more complicated shadow combination. And again over here in the appearance palette you can actually just see it's just built up of a drop shadow, drop shadow, another drop shadow at different positions and in different colours. You can just basically just click there, bring up the settings, change the settings if you wish. I'm not going to do that at this point. So right, this also can be changed into a symbol. Just drag that over, a symbol of a symbol. Click OK. Right. Now as that a symbol I can actually add a drop shadow to the entire set again and I'm going to go to effect stylize drop shadow uh, let's go for an orange this time make it slightly stand out a little bit preview unfortunately is never on which is always slightly frustrating so I'm just going to set the set the values there minus 120 right you can actually see maybe make it a bit bigger than that say so 200 so it stands out a bit more okay and change the opacity to 80 so it's a bit darker so okay they've so got that of course I could modify the blur as well click OK and now I've got this symbol I'm just going to save it again over the symbol I'm just going to drag it over the symbol click OK now get rid of that don't want it anymore and I'm just going to go over to the symbol sprayer tool and you can just of course apply those symbols and you can create unusual designs in a few seconds sort of weird shadow effect designs in Illustrator hope you found this tutorial of interest